I'm going around the world with Gary. Follow me around the world to see the beauty, drink the life, and taste indulgence as I go overboard abroad. Ah, enjoying our final domestic Peroni before lunch. We prepared to take the train north to our next indulgence of piggery and delight. So we've left Milano now due to the dangerous swelling of my midsection. And now we are traveling through Austria and seeing some of the most amazing mountainous landscapes I've ever seen. Headed to Germany for more of this and Bratwurst. Good evening. I am here at the Munich Hofferbrau House and we have just drinking four liters of beer and eaten 13 sausages, four pounds of kraut. And the most special thing that we ate tonight was the delicacy called pork knuckle. Deliciously prepared in a bed of thin gravy. Pork knuckle is probably the best meat item I've had in all of Europe so far. The Germans really know how to do it. Their beers are tall and their meats are nice and deliciously gravy sopped. Now we sit here as the night winds down as we're about to get on the bus to head to Leipzig. See you on the other side. Our German friend said take the bus. It's gonna be cheap and fun. But instead it was pure hell. We are here in Leipzig, Germany. The fastest growing city in all of Germany. Dining on some of the finest of Czechoslovakian foods. Drinking all of the beers while sponging our plates clean. And now washing it down with aged plum schnapps. Prost. The following day, our German host took us to his family's hometown of Gaitang, a 900-year-old village in the rural countryside that's frozen in time. When driving through the countryside of Leipzig, you see nothing but fields of rape. Thought they were mustard flowers, like from California, but no, they are a flower called Krapp, which is used for biofuel. So not oil fuel, a fuel that is derived from beautiful flowers. That is beautiful and that is smart. Signing off from the fields of Krapp, I'm Ryan Salas with Goat Horse Media. As we continue our journey through Germany, we find ourselves in the city of Koningstein, at the Koningstein Fortress. This massive structure sits 240 meters above the river Elba and has 50 buildings, some dating back to 400 years ago. It's magnificent, it's huge, it's built on a giant rock, much like the rock you see back here, and it's never been invaded since it's been built. It's very impressive. The Germans, they make big beers, they make giant sausages, and giant fortresses. We're here in the famous city of Dresden in Germany, taking in all the magnificent architecture, uh, the wonderful squares, the beautiful waterways, enjoying a nice tall German beer. It's been quite the tour through Germany, from Leipzig to Geithain to Kroningstein 
uh, and then here to Dresden. Now we're trying to decide whether to go to Berlin or straight to Amsterdam. These are the tough decisions we have to make on the fly with Goat Horse Media. We will let you know later in the day what our decision is at the train station. Prost! We're here in the central train station in Leipzig going over our German gallivanting. It's been quite the tour. Now we're heading to Berlin. We thought we'd switch it up a little bit now and drink a giant beer. Prost! And the church bell rings once more as we are here in Berlin signaling for another gigantic meal and another gigantic beer before we venture out and sightsee. We took the train from Leipzig and while drinking beer on the train, the train was about to stop and we almost lost our bags so we had to sprint full speed to rip them off the train and not lose all our stuff. <clears throat> so this is the kind of time we're having. And that's why they're ringing the bell so much. It's for our passion and our resilience. Heading down to the Berlin Wall next. Check back in in a second. Spending the last few moments at the Berlin Wall, I was thinking how open and diverse Germany really is to let a carefree American pig out on all their delicious foods and booze the way I did. You see that? Fucking cool, man. Destroyed me, best. 